Hey guys, another quick and very awkward intro here. I am going to get into my face palette collection today. So these are palettes basically that have uh, more than one type of product in there. So bronzer, highlighter, or whatever. I basically keep them all in one drawer. I'll also be pulling them from a few other drawers that I have because this one's kind of full. So anyway, if you're interested in seeing my face palette collection, then just keep on watching. So we're going one drawer down and we're gonna go over my face palettes today. I think most of them are in here. If not, I'll grab them from wherever they are. But anyway, uh, let's start with uh, whatever's up top here. So I have the Becca Afterglow palette. This is the one that has um, some highlighters and some blushes. This is really nice if you want to travel with a whole bunch. It has Moonstone, Rose Gold, and Topaz Shimmering Skin Perfectors, and then it has the Wild Honey and Flower Child blushes. So Moonstone is one of my favorite um, highlights, and I do love this Flower Child blush. Such a pretty bright pink color. So that's the Becca Afterglow palette. I'm not even sure if they make this anymore, but I think this is really handy. And then I have all of the um, Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look in a Palette palettes. Um, this is the original, I believe. Yep, yeah, this is the Natural Beauty, and it has eyeshadows, um, contour, highlight, and two cheek colors. This one's really pretty, and it's this is like definitely natural beauty for sure. It's, it's very, very subtle and it's great for every day. And then there was seductive beauty, which was similar idea, but the eyeshadows were a little deeper. The bronze contour color was a little bit deeper. And then there was beauty glow. This one happens to be my uh, favorite one. This has uh, warmer shades and I am just completely obsessed with this particular blush shade. It's got um, a beautiful sheen to it and it's got that kind of burnt terracotta um, glow which I really love so this is the beauty glow and then the newest one was the smoky eye palette and this had a great like dark black matte color and then it had like the bar of gold highlight in there which is really pretty I thought it was a little bit different from the actual bar of gold highlighter that she has a single one but it was very similar. And then I have a bunch of the Tom Ford Soleil Eye and Cheek palettes. So let me start, yeah, let me start here. So this is Warm. I love this one. I've traveled with this one quite a bit. The um, blush and the highlight work really, really well. The eyeshadows are great everyday colors. Look how beautiful that highlight is. Oh, it's just gorgeous. And this eyeshadow is such a beautiful all over the lid color. Stunning. And then here is number three, Solar Exposure, which is basically like um, a toned down version of the Warm palette. Very, very beautiful. And then I have um, the Violet Argente. So this is the one with the um, purple shade, which I was a little bit disappointed in because it ends up being kind of like a topper shade, which is not surprising for a Tom Ford palette, but this was so bright and vibrant in the pan that I was really hoping for something with a lot of punch, but didn't really deliver. And then the latest is the Soleil d'Ombre, and this is very beautiful, and I think this is a little bit more medium skin tone friendly. This blush is very beautiful, but very, very pigmented. I have to be careful when I use it, and Look how beautiful that eyeshadow is. And then here are the Tom Ford um, Soleil Contouring Compacts. So this one is the newest one. This is the Nude Glow that came out in 2018. Um, this one was okay. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. These are the two highlighters, which are nice. But I was looking forward to a bronze in this uh, palette, which doesn't really have one. This is uh, definitely a highlight. And the blush in here is super, super powdery. I don't know why they changed the formula of this, but it is incredibly powdery. And then here is Soleil Afterglow. This is the one that came out last year, and this one is definitely uh, deeper skin tone friendly. This bronze is very, very deep, and the blush is uh, very, very bright also. And it's a little bit more cool toned than the original, which is the Afternooner, and this one is my favorite one. It just works with my skin tone the best, and I like all three shades very, very much. They work really, really well. And then I have the Fiona Styles Multi-Dimensional Color Palette. I love this palette. I think I talked about this quite a bit. 
think maybe last year when I picked it up. Um, this line has been discontinued and um, I don't know, she's a makeup artist and I think she's trying to revive this line, but I think she's having distribution problems. Anyway, um, if she does revive the line, I really hope that she brings this back, but those were my favorites, these two highlights and that blush. So, so pretty. And then I have this deck of Scarlet. They were actually nice enough to send this to me. Gosh, I forget who this collaboration was with. Let me see. Um, I think her name was Amy... Amy Rose Walker, I want to say. That's that's what her name was. Um, so it has two lip colors, three eyeshadows, and then two cheek products. I really like the cheek products. They're really nice. The lip products I don't use, and they've already gotten some powder in there. The eyeshadows are nice, but they had a lot of fallout, so I don't use them very often. These are very pretty. And then here are two of the Hourglass palettes. This is the one from last year. This is the Ambient Lighting Edit Volume 3. Very nice. I don't, um, I don't actually grab these when I travel, and I don't know why. I think, I don't know, I kind of always grab for the same ones, so I need to change that up a bit. This has like a nice array of like highlights, blushes, bronzers. This is really beautiful. And then this is the one from uh, last year, which is, I think, number two. And this one has like the bigger highlight bar here, and then the other powders powders had a lot of like micro glitters in there so I like this one but I definitely like uh, number three more and then here is a makeup forever palette that you could customize so I picked three colors and I picked these out when I was at the makeup show here last year and the lighting was really really awful so I thought this was much deeper um, and I was gonna use it as a contour but it's actually just kind of like a nice blush and here's a blush and here is the highlight Here's the Tarte Clay Play Face Palette, and um, I use this mainly for this desert contour shade. I love this contour shade. All the powders in here are very, very nice, but I generally just reach out for this palette for this particular powder. But the eyeshadows are nice. Um, this is way too dark for me, and this is a nice bronze if I just am lazy and just want to use this palette. Then I have two Charlotte Tilbury um, palettes here. This is the Film Star Bronze and Blush. This was, I think, part of the Nordstrom anniversary sale last year, and um, I really like the idea of having the bronze with the blush, uh, because here's the original, the bronze with the highlight, and I hate when my compacts are this dirty. Sorry. So here's the, the infamous Film Star Bronze and Glow. I love this. This comes with me a lot in my pocketbook on trips. Here is the CoverFX Perfect Highlighting Palette. And I picked this up because I did not have any of the Cover FX highlighting powders. I had their custom enhancer drops. So I really like this. I just don't reach for it that often for no other reason other than I just have too much stuff. But they're really pretty. They give like a nice wet kind of glow to your skin. Very, very nice. And then here are the two Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palettes. Here is um, Citrus. I love these. I think you guys have heard me go on and on about this. But look at that citrus shade. Ugh. So good. And then here is Daria. This is like cooler toned palette. But this glow powder is so pretty, both of these. So, so pretty. And I like the glitters in here because they're um, so fine that they really go on almost like stardust versus like a glitter. And here's my uh, Natasha Denona Sculpt and Glow palette. So you have some highlighters, some sculpting, and then some all-over glow kind of powder and cream. I really like this uh, palette. This looks like it would be too dark, but it actually works really well as contour. It has unfortunately developed hard pan, but you can still pick up product. And then this is the Laura Mercier Candle Glow Luminizing Palette. I got this a while ago, and I only ever used this Radiance and this Glimmer powder. So these are supposed to be for cheeks, and then this is supposed to be for eyes. And it's basically just like a highlight for your eyes and your cheeks. So it's, it's an interesting concept, because none of these are actually dark enough to do much for your eyes. So they're really just all kind of like toppers, but they're a little bit powdery, and I don't know. These aren't great, but the cheek products are very, very nice. And I do like the two cheek products. And then here's the Clay de Po face palette. So you can pop in two pans. So I have an um, eyeshadow quad and um, a blush duo here. And this was 
uh, Nordstrom anniversary sale last year as well. So this is really nice. The eyeshadows are a little bit, um, I don't know, a little bit monochromatic. I feel like it needs a better range, so I do need to pair this quad with something else. But this blush duo is so pretty. Very, very pretty on the skin. And here is the Viseart Blusher Palette in Plum Bronze. And I have this in here instead of my blush drawer because this to me is a little bit more of like a bronze um, color. These two, this one is actually kind of, I don't know, there's a lot of red in there so this actually would work as a blush. But for me these two are bronzers. Um, but this powder is so beautiful. Look at that sheen. And then here's the Viseart um, Highlight and Sculpt Palette. So here are the highlights and then here are the Sculpt powders. And then I have three of the ColourPop Pressed Powder Palettes. These came out, I think last year also, and these have like a highlight and blush duo combo. And I keep it in these stupid sleeves because there's no labeling as to what it is on the actual palette. That makes me nuts. So this one I really love. Look how pretty that is. I actually like all of these. And then this one is like the pinky one. And then here is the Becca Chrissy Teigen palette from last year. I love this palette. This highlight is so, so pretty. And then here is my Tom Ford Pink Glow palette. I bought this from a friend of mine. She just never used it. And I was like, I will buy it from you because I missed out on this when it first came out. And it was, um, I don't know if it was limited edition, but they discontinued it. So it's not available anymore. But I love this palette. At least the look of it. I actually have not used it because it's so precious to me. <laughs> so this is like a collector's item for me. And then here's the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. So this is the one with um, Champagne Pop, Prosecco Pop, um, Rose Spritz, Amaretto, and Pemple Mousse. Very nice. I don't use this one enough either. It's just, it's kind of bulky for the powders in here. A little, a little thick, but it's a nice palette, and I do enjoy it. And then here is the ColourPop I Like Your Fitness Off the like Give Me More Press Powder Highlighter Palette. This one, I don't know. I think these powders are really chunky. So actually, I think I'm going to pass this on. I have a girlfriend with a daughter who I think would have a lot of fun with this. So I'm going to give this to her. So that's it for this drawer. Let me poke around and see if I can find any in other drawers or on my vanity or something. Okay, I did find a few in my other drawers. So here is the new Chantecaille Positano collection. This is the bronzer highlighter duo. I love this. I mean, aside from the packaging, which is so beautiful, I love the powders in here. They're so, so smooth and so beautiful. I love this highlight. It's just a touch warm. It's just such a creamy, creamy color. I love it. And then here is my Tom Ford Mood Light. These are really pretty. These also have a little bit of like, glitter is not the right word, just a little bit of like shimmer to it, so it's very pretty for evening. And then I have the two uh, Kevin O'Quan Neo Bronzers. So these are the ones that Ombre Effect. I really love this one. This is the Sienna one. And then here is Capri, which is a cooler pink shade. And then I have this Le Metier de Beauté, um Kaleidoscope, I think they're called. Yeah, Kaleidoscope, and this is in Flash Phenomenon. So this has four um, pans that swing out, and it goes from light to dark. And then I have four of the By Terry Sun Designer palettes. So here is Tropical Sunset from last year. Here is Savannah Love, also from last year. <coughs> Excuse me. And then from this year, here is Hippie Chic. So pretty. These colors are so much fun. And then this one is Happy Sun, which I use a lot. This highlight shade in here. So pretty. So, so pretty. All right, so I think that's it for my face palettes. I'm going to put everything back. Okay, I think that's
that's kind of close. I actually had a little bit more room <laughs> the second time around, which never happens when I put makeup back. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe if you are interested in more makeup collection videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I will see you in my next video. Bye.